In this video, we're going to take a look at our Forms Builder tool, which you can use to create forms or surveys and collect unlimited responses to those forms and surveys. So you can create a uh, form inside of an event in the Forms Builder tool right here, or you can also do it inside of a lead um, right here. We're going to go into one of our events where we've already created a form. So I'm going to scroll down to that event, click on it, and I'm going to click on the Forms Builder tool right down here. And there's the form I've already created, but we're going to add a new one right now from scratch. So we're going to click on Add Form. Here we're going to type in the form name and we can designate if we want to include our logo and name at the top of the form. And here we can designate if we want to capture contact information. Um, if you want people to be able to come back to the form to edit their information or complete the information, you need to make sure that you capture the email address. Um, we're gonna click on the Build Form tab. And if you click on Settings, you'll be able to go back in and edit that information. Um, we'll add phone number there. Um, you can also modify that information if you click on the edit required field. So we're gonna definitely make sure we uh, capture the email address. So to add a question, you click on the add new question item. Um, the question types are long and short answer, multiple choice, one answer with radio and drop down buttons. Uh, multiple choice is multiple answers and you can also add descriptive text or an image with a label and those are not questions those are just items so we're gonna create our first long answer question here and we're gonna make it required and that's what a, a long form looks like you can edit the uh, item clear responses delete it or move it right there we're gonna add another question right here and we're going to make this one a multiple choice only one answer uh, radio buttons we're also going to make that required and then when you select on multiple choice here's where you can enter your answer options so we're going to create a uh, like three different answer options right here when you add it you just click on save this option once you've added them you can use the arrows to move them around um, you can edit and delete them and when you're done click on done and there is my new multiple choice question. Um, we're gonna add one additional multiple choice question, and this will be a multiple choice, multiple answers with checkboxes. Um, we'll make that optional, and again, you've got the ability to create uh, multiple answer options for um, multiple, this type of multiple choice question. And once you're done, you can again rearrange those if you wish and then edit edit, and delete any of them and then click done when you're finished. Um, you can use the arrow button here to drag and drop to move the position and you can also move it, move it using the move button. So that's how you can start building out a form or survey. Um, I'm going to go to one we've already completed and for which we've collect, started collecting responses for. Um, you can see here I've got quite a few multiple choice questions, um, uh, different types of multiple choice, uh, as well as text fields. And there are two ways you can collect responses. Uh, one, by clicking on the email URL. This, using this, you'll only be able to collect responses from contacts who have been assigned to the event. When you click on the Send Now button, they'll get an email with a link in it. However, you can also use the form URL over on the right-hand side and you can copy and paste this into an email that you send out to unlimited people. Uh, I'm gonna click on that. Um, this is what it would look like if someone's uh, responding for the first time, they would click on new respondent. If they're returning, they would click on returning respondent, provide their email address, and then they can finish up a survey they've already started. So I'm gonna start filling this out. And when I'm done with it, I'm at the bottom of the form, there's a little CAPTCHA code I have to click on. Um, once I click on that, I'll click on Submit Now, and the information has been submitted. Um, if I go back into the tool, I can click on Responses by Respondent. Um, I can click on that tab, and below it will show all of the people who have responded right here. If I click on Jesse, who we just filled the form out for, um, here are all Jesse's responses collected right there. And I can edit them, download a PDF, or delete them if I wish. I can also at the top here download a CSV or PDF file of all responses by respondent. I can clear them, or I can um, view 
all responses by respondents on screen right here by clicking on that button at the top. I can also use this filter field to filter for, say, a name of a particular respondent and find them that way. I can also view responses by question instead of by respondent. Here are the questions and I can download a PDF, clear all responses and expand all the details here. Here's a multiple choice question to show you what that would look like and it will give you percentages and number of responses there. Here is a form field and what the responses would look like here. You can download a PDF for each item also. Now we're going to take a look at um, how you can use templates for the Forms Builder. You can save a, a form you've already created here as a template or you can import a template as a new form. So we're going to go to the templates area and click on the Form Builder templates right here. Um, to add a new one, you would click on Add Template and this is going to look familiar because it's just like building a form inside of an event. Um, here is one I've already built out. Um, adding form items is identical to building a form from scratch inside of an event. Here is my uh, form that I created here with lots of different questions. If I go back into my event, go into the Forms Builder tool and click on the Import Template as New Form, I can select any of my Form Builder templates and it's going to create a new form for me. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to edit it and give it a new name and it will pull all those elements from that template in here so I can add to them or edit them or do whatever I want. And that will save you some time if you use the same forms and surveys over and over again. That's how you can use our Forms Builder tool, but do let us know if you have additional questions.